Here we have the last of 2018 paper 2, question 11 to 14. So let's get started. Question 11. F is a right angle triangle and cos F equals 6 over 11. If they tell you to draw a diagram, they shouldn't need to, to find the value of sine F. So any right angle triangle, put F as one of the angles, cos as you all know is equal to a over h adjacent over hypotenuse this is my 6 over 11 so 11 for the hypotenuse 6 for the adjacent and this side over here based on your amazing knowledge of pythagoras is 11 squared minus 6 squared 121 minus 36 is 85 so root 85 for this side over here and we're asked to write sine f your knowledge of Sokotoa again sine f sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so that would be root 85 over 11 for this question and question 11 was worth 15 marks nice if you know your trig question 12 the diagram below shows a horcrux i hope that's how you say it and you all know exactly what a horcrux is because of harry potter a horcrux crux was an object in which a dark wizard or witch had a hidden fragment of his or her soul in order to become immortal when you conceal part of your soul, which is maybe what you want to do after watching these videos. And here is where the triangle and the circle inside it come from. A whole crux. And what are we told? ABC is equilateral. Just stay off the points. ABC is the big one equilateral so all sides and all angles are equal in measure so these are all 60 60 60 at the top it's split it into two thirties has to be because of the perpendicular down the bottom so this is our triangle we're asked to write the correct transformation into the box below and be as specific as you can abd so the triangle abd Again, I'm going to dot it. ABD is this one. What are we asked about it? It's the image of ACD. ACD. So ACD has become ABD. What has happened to it? Well, A and D haven't moved. C has gone to here. So this looks like axial symmetry. It will be in the y-axis but axial symmetry for us it's in the line it's not the y-axis it's the line a d so what's going on here and then we're told a d is equal to 10 work out a b and give your answer in third form so a b is what we're looking for a bit of a wonky Right angle triangle AB is this one AB we call it X we have our 60 and our 30 and we are told AD is 10 so we can use either angle I'll just start with the 60 say on the bottom opposite and I put and use so we're going to say the sine of 60 is equal to O over H which would be 10 over X this is one where they swap places X is equal to 10 divided by sine 60 which is equal to root 3 over 2 so this is going to be 20 over root 3 or 20 root 3 over 3 that's the same as 20 over root 3 either one of these I think will be full marks it's only 5 for this part and also 5 for part A Part C, the diagram below shows the triangle ABC. 
construct the rest of the Horcrux. Not this one. This one. So what are we told? We're actually giving more information here, but you shouldn't need it. If you're asked to construct the inner circle here, what we need is the perpendicular bisector of this line here, DC. So you will have your point of your compass here. Your arc will go this way. Move your point over here. Arc will go that way. They're supposed to be arcs. And then the same underneath. And where these two points meet with your ruler, that would be the perpendicular bisector. And that point with the angle bisected. So the angle bisected, again, point to the compass here. Draw your arc. Point to the compass then here. And then move it over to here and your two arcs again. And where these two lines bisect is what they're looking for. This point in here will be the center. And then just draw, draw your circle on the inside of it. You should be good at your constructions at this point. So we've gone from Horcruxes to these steers. <clears throat> and Barbara wants to estimate the surface area. So if you don't know the surface area of a sphere, you go to the formula booklet. You may remember me saying four circles make up one of these spheres, four pi or squared. This is surface area of a sphere. And she estimates the radius to be nine meters. Using Barbara's estimate for the radius, work out her estimate of the surface area. Give your answer in meters squared in terms of pi. So we leave pi alone. Four times pi times nine squared is 36. Thirty-six by nine or eighty-one by four, three two four pi meters squared for the surface area. The actual radius is between eight and ten. Work out the maximum value of the percentage error. So it looks like we've got two things here, eight and ten. If she estimates it to be nine, that's one away from eight. One over eight, approximately the difference in the radius. If it's one away from 10, it was one wrong and it should have been 10. So is this gonna help us? Let's see. So let's get the surface area in terms of eight and 10. So when or is equal to eight, therefore we get four times pi times eight squared. 464 is 240 and 16, 256 pi meter squared. And when or is equal to 10, therefore we get 4 times pi times 10 squared, which you can see is equal to 400 pi. So, which is correct, uh, which is the maximum, sorry, the maximum percentage error. So, if it was 256, she got 324. What's the difference between 256, not 255, 256 pi? And divide that <coughs> by what it was. Sorry, it's what it was, which would be the 8. So over 256 pi. So that's going to give 44 and 24, 68. The pies will cancel, you can leave them in if you want, over 256 times 100. It's giving me 26.5%. And as a percentage, connect correct to the nearest percent. Let's say 27% for this one. And this one, the error, it is 400. She got 324 over if it was actually 400 her error would be 76 pi over 400 pi times 100 this will give an error of it's going to be less than 20 percent isn't it? it's going to be i'll round it off straight away it's going to be 19 percent 
So the question is the maximum value of the percentage error, this one here, 27%. Question 14, to end this, a pizzeria has the following poster, nine inch, nine inch pizza special offer. No, nine inch pizza is equal to two slices of big pizza. We're told a nine inch pizza is the shape of a circle Draw a diagram with a diameter of nine inches. So we normally use the radius in these questions. I would write down straight away the radius is equal to half of nine, 4.5. Each big pizza is the shape of a bigger circle. Your diagram does not have to be as good as mine. And it's divided into six slices of equal area. Let's try and do six. Should be good with all the practice you've done. That looks pretty accurate, all about 60. Use the information in the poster to work out the radius of a big pizza. So you're taking your time, there's no rush here. We know about this, it's the angles are 60. Give your answer in inches in this form. And P is an element of Q. So P looks like it's gonna be a fraction. So don't worry about what the answer looks like. Let's just start with what we know. We're looking for probably area in this case. We're looking at area, it tells us, just double check. So the area of this pizza here is pi r squared. And you wanna write area equals pi r squared to begin to show the examiner what you're doing. So we maybe do it in terms of pi here. So that's pi times 4.5 squared. Um, and 20.25, that's 20.25 pi. So the radius of the big one. So this 25, 20.25 pi, this is our nine inch. What's this equal to? It's equal to two slices of the big pizza. So two of them will be two out of six pi r squared. And it's the radius, this is the unknown, the radius of the big pizza is the only unknown now. So we should be able to simplify this down. It looks like we are in the form 3p over 2, so let's try and keep it as numbers for now. So what are we going to get here? We're going to get r squared is equal to 6 times 20.25 divided by 2. If we cross multiply by 6 and divide by 2. So r squared is going to be equal to 3 by 20.25, 60.75. So I'm not seeing my answer yet. So to get this as a whole number, I need to multiply this by 4. So multiplying both sides by 4, 4 r squared will be equal to 240 plus 3. 243. So this should jump out at you. 3 squared is equal to 9. 3 squared is equal to 9. 81 by 9 or 81 by 3 there you go 73 to the power of 5 just to remind you is equal to 243 so we have 4 r squared is equal to 3 to the power of 5 these answers will only appear as you get there r squared is equal to 3 to the power of 5 over 4 So r squared, sorry, or this time we get the square root of each number, or is equal to the square root of three to the power of five over the square root of four. So or the square root is to the power of a half. We imagine it like this. So this is three to the power of five to the power of a half. So that's equal to three to the power of five over two. Good root rules of indices required here. Or is equal to three to the power of five over two and the square root of four on the bottom is two and an amazing five marks for all of that work.